everyone. This is Jessica from the Blinky Chicks team. Today I want to talk about managing alerts on your iPhone. There are several different things I would like to mention. One of those being notifications. You can control what notifications appear on your lock screen, what you get banners for, and what notifications make sound. Also, we're going to talk about Do Not Disturb. I've actually been surprised at the number of people who do not use Do Not Disturb or do not know about all of its features. And we're also going to talk about uh, blocking. So a lot of times, you know, you may not talk to someone anymore, but they just can't get the hint. Well, you can remedy that with the iPhone. Uh, or if there's a wrong number that just keeps blowing your phone up every day and they can't get the hint either you can also um, block them with no problem. So I'm going to cover all of those features today. So first we're gonna jump right into settings and we're gonna look at notification settings. Doc, mail, no one emails. Settings. Settings, battery, button. Okay, and... Notes one to 10, 95, settings, heading. Right up notifications, here. Notifications, button. There's notifications. notifications settings, that button. And it has notifications, heading. a bunch of different Swipe down options. from the top of the screen. Notifications view, heading. Sort order, reset button. Group I off. So you can basically change the order that iOS sorts the notifications and how they're grouped. Notifications file, heading. I'm not going to cover that today. Amazon, button. It's pretty much self-explanatory. App Store, badges, button. Apple Store, sounds, button. And Probate, I'm going badges, to sounds, find... button. Calendar, badges, sounds, alerts, button. Credit Karma, badges, sounds, matters, button. Here's an app that I have... All of the notifications settings are de as default, and I'm going to change that now. Credit Karma, notifications, back button. So, allow notifications on. Show notifications center on. So, I want to allow notifications, but if you want an easy way to disable all notifications for an app, there there is the toggle for that right here. Allow notifications on. And then, show notifications center on. You can choose whether or not to show it in Notification Center. If you care about the notifications, I don't know why you wouldn't want it in Notification Center. Sounds on. Uh, you can turn sounds on or off. Badge icon on. You can choose whether or not to badge the app icon. So like the little number that says one, two, three, four, depending on how many alerts you have for that particular app. Show on lock screen on. And this is the one, show on lock screen. This is the, the uh, toggle that is most important to me because if you want to save battery life you want to turn off as much of this as you can because every time a new notification comes in it will light up your screen uh, this has helped in iOS 9 because now you can flip the phone over or if it's in your pocket it won't light up the screen but this also helps um, declutter your lock screen so if it's not something you want showing up also uh, it's important to remember privacy also, so if it's like a banking app or something, I wouldn't have that on your lock screen, but that's just a uh, personal preference and opinion. So for my preferences, I like as many things off of the lock screen. So Badge icon on. This Show on lock screen on. Off. Okay, and then down here. Show alerts on lock screen. Enemy alerts on lock screen. Select notification style. Banner selected. A small interrupting banner is displayed across the top of the screen. Adjustable. I don't really like banners. I think they're annoying, but some people love them because you can quickly interact with uh, notification as it comes in. So I'm going to turn it off. Alert selected. Enemy interrupting dialogue is displayed. Banner selected. A small interrupting banner. No alert selected. No alert will be displayed. No alert selected. And that way it will make the sound when it comes in and it will put it in notification center, but it won't bother me with whatever I'm doing. Alerts require action for seating. Banners appear at the top of the screen. It'll go automatically. Banners at the top of the screen. It'll go automatically. Okay. Notifications. Back button. Notifications. Back notifications. Settings. Back button. So that is um, setting up your notifications. Now we're going to talk about do, do not disturb. Settings. Back button. Settings. Back button. Settings. Heading. And. Do not disturb. Button. That's right there. Control center. Button. Notifications. Button. Control center. Do not disturb. Button. Two underneath um, of notifications. Do not disturb. Settings. Back button. Do not disturb. And this basically prevents your phone from making any kind of noise or alerting you. Uh, I have mine automatically scheduled every night for whenever I should be asleep. If you know me, you know I'm probably not, but um, eh, I try. And so you can schedule this if you prefer, you know, to have this 
during a certain time of the day, anytime, basically, you can have it so it's scheduled, it will automatically turn itself on or off. And you can also enable or disable it here. Um, however, the, the quicker way, if you're going to just, if you need to turn on or off, uh, do not disturb on the fly, you can do that in Notification Center by swiping up from the bottom of the screen. 9, 41 a.m. Status item. So, like this. Control Center. Do not disturb. Airplane mode. Off. Control Center. And... Do not disturb. Off. There's Do Not Disturb, and you just tap it. On. And now it's on. So nobody Settings. can bother us now while we do the uh, video. Um, and now you can see that it's switched to on here as well. Uh, one of the things. Button. One of the things that I found interesting that some people didn't know, and these are longtime iPhone users, uh, some people don't know that you can have Do Not Disturb uh, still function when the phone is unlocked. I have seen people talking, talking about how, oh, well, iOS, it doesn't, it can still, it will still alert you if the phone's unlocked. And that's not necessarily true. Down here Most at the bottom, Selected, always. you can choose whether Silence, it uh, silences always only while, locked. only while iPhone is locked. And that's personal preference. Um, but basically, if, if you're going to be laying next to someone playing on your phone, you probably want to set that to always. Um, and then the other thing definitely want to mention, allow, allow calls from. If you set certain people as favorites, they can always reach you. I think this is very important for emergency situations. You don't want your phone to be on Do Not Disturb and miss something important. And then um, repeat calls on. repeated calls. You can turn that on or off, but just like the other option, I recommend leaving that on because if it's an emergency and they keep calling you, you want to make sure you get those um, phone calls. But, of course, all personal preference, and you can set all that how you like in here. 9.41 a.m. Status item. Rose 1 to 5 7. Okay. Settings. Back button. Settings. Heading. Now I'm going to talk about blocking people. Ah, settings. <laughs> this feature has been in iOS for quite some time now. Um, and a lot of people still have no idea that it exists. Uh, I was just speaking with my mom the other day and she was telling me that she kept getting a wrong number that would call her multiple times a day and it was frustrating. So I showed her how to block the call. So I'm going to Phone. show that to you now. Phone. Oh, button. One, two. Okay. So in phone. If you are on the Recents tab, which is the second tab over on the bottom. Selected. Recents tab. 205. And I have mine switched to Missed Calls. Selected. Missed. Button. 202. To make it easier to find a phone number. Daniel Miller incoming. Missed. More info. Daniel Miller incoming. Missed. So I'm just going to swipe through here. Friday. Button. Grandma incoming. Missed. iPhone. More info. Grandma incoming. Missed. Kendra incoming. Missed. Home. More info. Kendra incoming. Missed. Plus one eight seven six three nine. More info. Plus one eight seven six three nine four three two zero nine. Incoming. Missed. Kingston. Surrey County. Jamaica. Four slash one three slash sixteen. Button. So you may have heard voiceover say more info multiple times so to to the right of every single call whether it be incoming or outgoing or whether the person's in your your contact list or not there is a more info button which um, for those who can see is shown in the voiceover currently the voiceover cursor currently and um, so to block or to do several different things like add the contact or anything like that you would tap this button and then it has all the information about the call and you can um, facetime them you can um, send them a message you can add them to your contacts anything like that but we're going to go to the very bottom and there's a block this caller button see there it is and we're going to tap that now Block caller. You will not receive phone calls, messages, or FaceTime from people on the block list. So it says you will not receive uh, phone calls, messages, or anything from the person, from people on the block list. Block contact button. And then you could click block contact. Block contact. Unblock this caller. And then that changes to unblock this caller. So now you can unblock them if you choose. However, I'm going to go back into Recent settings. Back button. Recent back button. Oh, button. One, two, dot, phone. Settings. 
and Sorry. show you where to go, you can actually access this uh, multiple ways, either in messages or in the phone settings. Display We're going to messages Sounds today. Button. Copy the password button. Battery button. Privacy button. iCloud button. iTunes app store button. Wallet and Apple Pay button. Mail contacts. Calendar notes button. Reminders button. Phone button. Messages button. So messages. Settings. Back button. Messages. And it's pretty far down, so we're just going to scroll. Text message forwarding. Two devices. Lowest forward to 12 and 16. Blocked button. Is. Blocked contacts. Blocked messages. Back button. Actually, lowest 19 to 21 to 31. Lowest 19 to 31 to 31. Lowest 19 to 31 to 31. If you want to see. You want to receive a new button. Plus one. Eight seven six three nine four three two zero nine. Button. Actions available. So that should be the same phone number. And you can, with voiceover. Edit. Speech rate. Headings. Words. Characters. Actions. You can go to actions. Unblock. And you can swipe down to unblock. Or visually, you just drag it over, and then there's the unblock button. Okay. Voice over on. Settings. Messages. Back button. Or if you want to unblock multiple people at one time, there's an edit button up here. Edit button. Edit. And then it puts button. Button. those buttons next to each caller, so you can unblock them. Done. Button. Done. Edit button. And. That's all I have to share with you today. I hope that was this video has been helpful. If you have any questions or if there's any other content you would like to see, definitely let us know. You can check us out online at BlinkyChicks.com and follow us on Twitter at BlinkyChicks. Thank you for watching.